Today we'll be talking about gallbladder disease. But before we start, let's know more about the gallbladder. Hello everyone, I'm Ume and before we start, please subscribe to our channel so the next time we will be updated with our new releases. Now the gallbladder is a small sac that is located under the liver. It stores bile, a digestive enzyme that is produced by the liver. Before the meals, the gallbladder is full of bile and it is as big as a small pear. After meals, it becomes empty like a deflated balloon. When we eat, signals are sent to the gallbladder. Then the gallbladder squeezes the stored bile into the small intestine through bile ducts. Bile is made to help digest the fatty meals, however, Removing the gallbladder wouldn't cause an observable problem in a healthy person, only fat, malabsorption, or diarrhea. But what makes somebody remove the gallbladder? When there's a problem with the gallbladder, it is most probably removed. Various gallbladder diseases can lead to the removal of the gallbladder. Gallbladder disease includes inflammation, stones, infection, or even blockage of the gallbladder. It is a broad term that includes several types of conditions. Any abnormality in the gallbladder flow of bile or any stone formation will cause inflammation of the gallbladder, also called cholecystitis. If this inflammation is left untreated, it can lead to serious life-threatening conditions. How about gallbladder? Can you give us a little bit more details about gallbladder, what it is, and the symptoms? Okay. Gallbladder, called damang in Korean, or solje. The most important role of this organ is the production of bile. Bile is made in the liver, then travels to the gallbladder for temporary storage. The most common problem is the development of stones. So, the gallstones hinder the storage and flow of bile. So the gallbladder becomes inflamed. And pain ensues, which is called cholelithiasis. This is one of the diseases. And in another, the gallbladder develops a polyp. If the pulp is left alone, it can morph into cancer. So we believe it's a condition that needs to be treated. The most notably, adenomatous polyps and gallbladder stones, which need to be removed via laparoscopic surgery. There is no other method to remedy the situation other than removal surgery. So you just talked about gallstone disease, yeah. right? So what are the treatments for gallstone disease? As I mentioned long ago, medication was prescribed of administered locally in the affected area, but it was not meaningful as the gallstones developed yet again. So nowadays, colostectomy surgery that does not take an hour is used to treat the condition which is a relatively easy surgery. Of course, there is hesitation since it is the removal of the organ. But the fact that gallstones developed means it is not doing its job. So the best solution is the removal of the gallbladder. So better than treatment, are there ways to prevent it from the beginning? Uh, the most important is eating habits. The top reasons for developing gallstones are consuming fatty foods. Another is in Korea long ago. Seafood such as crustaceans and fish was consumed raw, which sometimes ended in parasites causing infections which caused gallstones, which nowadays mostly disappeared. Lately, the more common reason is consumption of fatty foods, which causes lots of gallstones. Also, getting fat also increases the chances for gallstones, which women are often more prone to getting gallstones when pregnant. So many reasons why gallstones develop, and in general it is okay to leave as is. But if it causes pain or other symptoms, then the gallbladder needs to be removed. 
So the most important way to reduce the chances of developing gallstones is controlling one's eating habits. So we talked before about cold bladder, right? Mm. How about cold bladder cancer? Mm. Mm. So what's the difference between just cold bladder and cold bladder mm. cancer? Gallstones is a condition we see frequently. And if left untreated for a prolonged period, many morphs into cancer. Because if there are gallstones, there is inflammation. And if left alone untreated for long, it develops cancer. Not everyone turns to cancer, but if the stones are large or if the gallbladder is thickened or becomes fossilized, then even if there is no symptoms, we are recommended to remove the gallbladder because if left untreated, it can turn to cancer. So, cancers tend to develop if the gallstones are left untreated for a long period. Even here, I would say 10% to 20% probably have gallstones, but show no symptoms. In such cases, for now is okay, but as they age and turn to 60 or 70, cancer may develop because the inflammation has been prolonged. So if there are any gallstones, or if the bladder is thickened, prompt removal is a solution to prevent cancer. Most do not have symptoms. In cases where symptoms arise, usually are jaundice or pain, but in such cases, it is already late. Even today, I operated on a patient who has no symptoms, but had cancer and had spread. So periodic exams are key to prevent gallbladder cancer, especially if there were issues, and even if there is a small problem. It is best to remove it before it becomes cancerous. Is surgery the only way to treat it? Yes, especially in gallbladder cancer. Chemotherapy is not effective. So, during the early stages quickly, there are two ways to arrive at cancer. Due to polyps or stones in the gallbladder, in both cases, if the gallbladder is quickly removed, there is no chance of developing cancer. If not, one is continuously nurturing the disease. Then, if the symptoms are seen later, it is already too late. Then, a simple surgery may not work. And instead of just removing the gallbladder, parts of the liver may also need to be removed. Gallbladder and other organs such as duodenum becomes a huge surgical procedure. So it is best to do removal surgery fast. Uh, my last question, Professor. Mm -hmm. So I would go ahead and assume that the way of prevention for gallbladder is the same as uh, the way to prevent also gallbladder cancer. Right? Yeah. So, preventing gallbladder cancer is same as preventing gallstones. But preventing gallstones is controlling eating habits to reduce the chances of gallstones. But that does not always mean cancer is prevented. For example, in Korea, 20 to 30 percent have some form of gallstones for those people. A period exam to look out for enlarged gallbladder or if the stones are increased in numbers, or if the bladder becomes thickened, then if not removed later, it can turn cancerous. So to prevent cancer, frequent exams are needed if there is existence of gallstones or polyps and removing early to prevent cancer. If left alone, it can suddenly turn to cancer, and there are no symptoms. Early detection and prompt removal is the best method for prevention of cancer. Okay, so, the most important role of gallbladder is the production of bile. Bile is made in the liver, then travels to gallbladder for temporary storage, the most common problems in the development of stones. So the gallstone hinders the storage and flow of bile. So the gallbladder becomes inflamed and pain ensues, which is called cholelithiasis. Another element is the, the development of polyps. If polyps are left alone, cancer can develop. So we believe it's a condition that needs to be treated. The most notably adenomatous polyps and gallbladder stone, which need to be removed via laparoscopic surgery. 
There is no other method to remedy the situation other than removal surgery. The most important prevention is eating habits. The top reasons for developing cold stones are consuming fatty foods. Another is in Korea. Long ago, seafood such as crustaceans and fish was consumed raw, which sometimes ended in parasites causing infections, which caused cold stones, which nowadays mostly disappeared. Lately, the more common reason is consumption of fatty foods, which causes loss of cold stones. Also, getting fat also increases the chances of cold stones. With women, often are more prone to getting gallstones when pregnant. So many reasons why gallstones develop and in general it is okay to leave as it is. But if it causes pain or other symptoms, then the gallbladder needs to be removed. So the most important way to reduce the chances of developing gallstones is controlling one's eating habits. While most do not have symptoms, some may have jaundice or pain, but in such cases it is already late. So periodic exams are key to prevent gallbladder cancer. Thank you for joining us in yet another video covering key health related topics with Cloud Hospital TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below and we will respond to you as soon as possible.